So what we've seen so far is that if we have a cubic or a higher order polynomial that is in factorized form, then it's quite straightforward to sketch the curve. However, if we have a cubic, in this case, that isn't factorized, then it's a lot more tricky, or a lot trickier, to actually sketch it because we don't know where it crosses the x-axis. Okay? Um, and only when it's in factorized form am I going to be able to do this um, easily. So how can we factorize it? Now, obviously, the higher order the polynomial is, the harder it becomes to actually factorize. We know a general method of doing it when it's a quadratic, but with cubics, it's a lot more complicated. And that's why we rely on something that's known as the factor theorem. Now, what the factor theorem says is that x minus a is a factor of f of x if and only if x, well, f of a, rather, is equal to 0. Now, what this means in practice is that if I can find a number that I can substitute in for the x, so if I can find number f of a, or a number a such that f of a is 0, then that's telling me that x minus a is a factor. So if I found that substituting in 2 into this gets me 0, then x minus 2 would be a factor of f of x. And once I have a factor, then I can utilize polynomial division. So let's find a factor. So what I would do is I would try numbers. I'd substitute numbers in. Now, it makes sense that um, you're going to choose numbers that are going to be factors of minus 6. Because we know that if I then get three brackets, for example, that if I expand these brackets, these three numbers will multiply. The minus a, the minus b, the minus c will multiply together to make that minus 6. So I'm not going to choose numbers that aren't factors of 6. So let's try 1, for example. So f of 1. Now, what I'm going to get is 1 cubed, take away 6 lots of 1 squared, plus 11 lots of 1, take away 6. So we have 1, take away 6, plus 11, take away 6. Now, 1 take away 6 is minus 5, plus 11 is 6, take away 6 is 0. Therefore, OK, this implies that x minus 1, OK, so x take away that number is a factor of f of x. And that gives me the first step in order to go on and factorize that cubic fully. Okay? So I'm going to go through a couple more examples of this in the next video. And then in the video after that, we're going to go about solving this equation, this uh, cubic, and sketching it.